It's called getting ready for impact, boys. All right, we gotta free kick this. Oh no, reincarnation. What am I gonna do about that? I'll tell you what. Bonus, it's called bonusattack.com. So here's five. <laughs> here's another five. <laughs> Go, Chica, <laughs> that's so guaranteed lethal, man. Making content for you guys is a full-time job and it's only possible with your support. Click the link in the description to join my Patreon for access to exclusive streams, deep fry podcasts, private video calls, and more. What's going on everybody, this is Fry. So today we're doing a combo with Mime Garg and Frenzied Units. The idea is to control the early game until you get to turn 6. On turn 6 you're going to be teleporting in your Mime Garg, in which case it does 5 damage. The next turn is turn 7 and immediately... On turn 7, you're going to play Mustache Monument and one of these Frenzied Minions. They're both powerful 4-drops. The Ancient Vampire will grow every single time it kills a minion. You're, hopefully, there will be some minion on the board that you can take advantage with this. And the other is the Bounty Hunter, which draws the card every single time it kills something. The important thing, though, is that this has Frenzy. And when a Frenzy... Uh, ability activates it will trigger the ability of mime guard which does a bonus attack anytime anything else does a bonus attack including the extra attack uh, from frenzy so basically the mime guard did five damage and then this is doing a bonus attack just right on the top of your turn because of the mustache monument so the mime is going to do another five damage and if this kills something it's going to be doing another bonus attack because uh, the mime guard will do a third a third attack uh, because, again, it's doing a frenzied attack. So the Mime Garg is basically doing 15 damage, and this will be doing 4 damage to face. It's a 19 damage OTK combo. We are running in the early game a lot of Nibbles and Extinction events. These are all cards that reduce the stats of plants, and that will hopefully not only control opponents so you don't die in the first 5 turns, but you're also going to be creating all these little minions on the board to take advantage of. You can teleport in your Ancient Vampire after you've Extinction evented and just take advantage of and you know, this can end up doing against team-ups, uh, end up having, you know, 5-7 attack pretty easily. Same thing with the... Um, Interstellar Bounty Hello, Hunter can be played as sort of a control card if you're worried about what your opponent's going to play on turn 4. So very often sticking this on the field since it has hunt will control them, draw cards, and sort of slow them down. Also as a finisher we are running the Kitchen Sink Zombie. This is a very good card also to play on the Mustache uh, Monument. So let's say on turn 5 you can teleport in your Mustache Monument. Uh, this will maybe block something, do 1 damage to it immediately on the top of the next turn play kitchen sink which will do six damage directly to your opponent's face and also leave a very big minion with overshoot and it's all bullseye on the board so this will be the extra finisher we have other than that it's just a couple of rocket sciences and again uh, your uh, uh, early game control with cheese cutter and cyborg these are going to be you know must answer the cheese cutter is a must answer card cyborg hunts and you know deals with uh, basically anything opponents play on turn two so I'll slow them down. This will also give us a little extra late game card, the Big Borg, which can be placed onto a Mustache Monument if you need an extra 5 damage. Uh, let's get right into the game, so hope you guys enjoy. I, you know, it seems like the deck really relies on a lot of combos. I think the early game's going to be solid. We're going to keep an eye on the on the late game, though, and really see if it's going to be reliable enough. Maybe the deck needs Trickster. I feel like I've done Mime Trickster a lot in the past, but... Maybe I'll add some tricksters to this deck instead of, like, Kitchen Sink. But I, I, I want to see how this deck does as is without my tricksters. All right. So we're going to do bets. If you think we are going to win six out of eight games today, vote yes. Five out of eight is going to be a no over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash fry em up. Fry em up. So we want to get just as many early game control cards as possible this is pretty good against captain combustible almost anything he plays on turn four dies pretty badly so since we have early game control you also have like bats and summoning which are pretty good early game this really just again either this will be drawing really overpowered gourmet cards or it just slows him down and forces him into inefficient plays like shoot for two on turn one i guess technically he win that he wins that trade but uh this will just be charging our block meter and that's all good. <sighs> uh, 
I don't think we need to summon it. I think we're just gonna chill. We'll use the summoning combined with extinction event to deal with something later. Uh, this room for two is left on the board here. And we could just spam Ancient Vampire, especially if he passes here. That's what I'm going to do. That's the same as passing. So I'm going to just spam Ancient Vampire, I believe, in lane one. And, uh, you know, even if he buried less, then it's okay. Fry, how do we deal with wing nut? You know yeah, there's not really a way to deal with wing nut. We'll die really hard to that. <laughs> Thanks for tipping off the snipers. If this sort of does play around Bananasaurus Rex, too, I guess I'm going to go with, with you. Just in case he's going for Bananasaurus Rex, this really messes up that play. It messes up, again, most things Captain Combustible has on turn 4. It's not a whole lot that trades well against a 4-4. Four, four. Half banana, banana split. He'll get his little bananas as the, <laughs> as the uh, profit. Because if, if we play Ancient Vampire, we get 5 damage. He plays Banana Source Rex, which is going to do 6 damage and then be a 4-4 four, four next turn, and we're kind of out of luck, so... Gotta not get hit by that. That's fine. I mean, if this is all he does here in an attempt to just slow down the Bounty Hunter, I mean, he traded a really powerful power. Plus is killing this, plus we're drawing a card. So that is money in the bank. Cyborg plus a trick to control here looks good. There could be Teleport Ancient Vampire, too. Maybe we should always keep our options open for Teleport Ancient Vampire. Worst case scenario, we can teleport, play the Cyborg, and play the Extinction Event all in one turn. So There is a Banana. We can go Teleport um, Mustache Monument into Vampire at the top of next turn. I think I'm getting the little... I think I'm getting the... the little banana doesn't matter enough to not do this play. Uh, I don't see mine yet, but... Okay, this is a very strong play. This will have six health, so... Very strong, uh, strong play here. I think having, like, a summoning... The cheese cutter is okay. I think having a summoning just in case he plays like a, you know, a Gatling P, or at least being able to extinction event and keeping our options open is probably the way here. So he fed that pretty hard. Uh, would like to see just mime or kitchen sink or a few more. I think we're running enough late game here. Interesting. We'll have Nibble plus something here. He's feeding. What is his plan? He's going to draw... Wait. He, he definitely has another card here, right? <laughs> what was this? <laughs> it was at that moment he knew. He messed up. Oh, there in the concede. It was perfect. Perfect fail. <laughs> what, was, what was the man thinking, folks? I don't even know what's going on. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. I thought he would at least have a way, I don't know, a way to draw cards, and yet it didn't make sense at all. <laughs> what? I don't get it. I don't understand. I don't get it. I am a very confused. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why I put 0 and 1. <laughs> That's how big of a fail it was. I feel like I just lost. We're 1 and 0. I don't know what I'm thinking here. I'm not thinking. 
So the bonus attack you kind of need a little bit later. Teleport. I think we're going to keep teleport. Pass. I think Cyborg and 2 should be okay here. Wins a trade against most things. Bro is drunk. Maybe bro is drunk. This plays around Twin Sunflower, most of the dangerous plays. Dun 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 dun. What is this guy doing? I don't know. I don't know. Bro, play a card, please. Good play. It was so beautiful. <laughs> He's quickly logging into the stream. Ah, it's frying him up. We gotta, we gotta see what's in his hand. Pass. This dude's doing nothing. Nothing with cake. I think we pass still. We really for the combo if we get our mustache monument. Okay. This Einstein. I think we are gonna nibble that. Uh, I still see, want to see if we can draw into Mustache Monument. It would be nice. It, you know, in case of emergency, we'll just teleport Bounty Hunter here if he does something really scary. But keeping Rocket, uh, that should be fine. We. I don't know what's going on. He's just going to keep... He's just going to... I don't really understand. Uh, okay. Damn. That was a pretty spicy play. So we actually can't teleport Bouncy here. I'd like to teleport Mime next turn, but... We can teleport Bouncy and he's gonna get a free... So confused. What do we do here? Just nibble this one, maybe? And not be scared here? I think we're gonna try to actually set up our combo. It's like either a teleport or a mustache monument. Oh, we got the mustache. All right, all right. I think we're I think we're about to rock and roll here. It's feeling pretty. <laughs> Some cyborgs running around. All right, so it's teleport mime, and we have a pretty good lane here for the uh, bounty hunter. It has two minions teamed up, so that's fun. No. Ow. Buff room. Oh, big boy. <laughs> you want to see big boy? Watch this. La di da di da. Na 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 da 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 da. Guys, wait. Just you wait. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. Well, it just prevents one damage. It didn't matter. Uh, I think we, we don't really need cards right now, so we're going to do it with the uh, Vampire. <laughs> it's pretty good. All right, here's one bonus attack. Attack! Charge! Proc the block. Oh, they both got absorbed by the block meter. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> we got a 7-8 Frenzy and a Mime Guard to boot. And we have the combo again next turn. So we have another... Okay, well, that's basically all he's doing this turn, right? What is he going to do? Uh, nothing? Okay, well, GG. la dee -da. Guys, the combo works! I'm so happy. <laughs> Why did he play more Spore? I guess he didn't really have an answer anyway. I'd like to play against Mushroom decks for the rest of the day. Thank you very much. It's kind of the perfect matchup. Go! 
Well, that worked out great. Uh oh. Do we keep this because it's part of the gun? Oh. Uh. I think this is pretty good. So again, Rose doesn't usually run a lot of one drops, and sometimes they just desperation like transmogrify this and stuff. Let's see if he has weed one. Yes! Another cheese cutter! <laughs> Something good! That works! That completely works! Wow, this mini ninja is gonna tear this person up. Because we can extinction event this next turn as well. Watch this, it's just gonna be something with two health, because it's Rose. God damn it. Well, it's set up for the vampire, so I'm fine. Pass. Uh, sure. We still have the extinction event and stuff. Bruh. <laughs> we can do this. Um. So, this will be a 3-2, so it actually is kind of bait for the... I mean, we could just kill it, then he... Alright, here's the plan, guys. I'm gonna play this here. And then we're just gonna play the... We're gonna play one of these just in lane one here. So he can't really play the... Well... How about we do it like this? So if he uses the, the corn, it's gonna die. Well, no, then it dies. I don't want it to die. How do we do this? <laughs> I, haven't thought... I think I was just playing here, but... So he can't play the corn anymore. Maybe we should go with the 4-4 four four instead? Oh... Uh... This one, maybe? Let's go with this one. So it does the corn play. What else does he have? Pepper MD. What a shame. And little buddy? We still get a card off of that. I think it's still worth it. <laughs> He's at 18 health. There's mine. Maybe I should just mime. <laughs> we'll mime, like, next turn, I guess. Should I just do this? You in summoning? I'll try it. I'm just a little afraid of, like, Allosaurus in one. But if he's going for... <laughs> Too bad. If he's going for catch a mechanic. Uh... Yes. Toxic wasting. Baseball zombie works though, that's fine. Yeah, playing vampire there was not gonna work. Oh well. So we have the mustache monument. Oh no, this pepper MD is getting nasty. I think I'm just gonna play this like here. And hope for the best. It's not a really good plan, is it? Cob combo. Uh, the forward hits, and then we block the A, and then, I don't know. Yeah, that summoning was insane, because this heals it up. Oh, he has Cob, not combo. Uh, if we get Acid Rain, we can make this lift. <laughs> this isn't going very well. Like, we don't really have a way to prevent the Mustache Monument from, like, killing us here. Unfortunately. I mean, the Pepper MD from killing us. No heals for you. Actually, one damage doesn't let us evaporate, though, so it's not going well. 
Where the problem is this can't get evaporated. I guess we'll just do this. Hope we'll get one of our rockets here. No. <laughs> We're not gonna win this one, guys. It's pretty clear. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Stalling. Probably just like dragging into. Heals for zero. We live. Kind of. We'll have one health left. <laughs> There's no way for us to win this game. What if we do some insane combo with multiple bonus attacks and stuff? That would be awesome. Chewy for you, Raiden and all. Thank you so much. What turn is this, by the way? We did eight, so we'll have nine here. So it's four, two, two, one. So it's or how many bonus attacks can we get in one turn is the real question here. If he kind of like doesn't do anything this turn, we're going to be, uh, it's going to be a lot. Let's say he little buddies in lane four just to like keep his four, four alive. Cause that's smart. So we'll do four, five, uh, this is fine. Can you not do anything else, please? We still kill this. <laughs> so stupid idea. We still live and we're doing a lot here. Then we can top deck. Okay, so here's a bonus attack. And then here's a bonus attack. This is gonna do two, so that hits. And then this hits, and then this hits. <laughs> and then we get go to fight. Ah. <laughs> uh? Ah. Uh? Uh, Weed Whack is fine. And we play the bats here. We're gonna get a card. If we win this game, this is gonna be the comeback of the, of the Millennium. So we have one health left. Survey says, teleport, okay. I might be able to do something with that. Our opponent only has three cards here. Uh, yeah, we're definitely gonna need to top deck something with these teleports. How about teleport mustache monument? <laughs> Brain Anna. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we need like a bonus attack now, I think. Teleport Mime. Oh my gosh. We need to top deck a bonus attack right now. Do we get it? Oh, dude! <laughs> Too bad! Ah, oh, we're so done. <laughs> if we had a nipple, we would win. Maybe. Uh, that was close. <laughs> close game. Very close. Man. This guy had no way to activate. He didn't have any, like, he had cop cannons, but no, like, team outs. Because he spent them all in the early game. Oh well, <laughs> I tried. I got this close to winning. <laughs> that would have been insane. Here's a green shadow. <laughs> la 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 la. Perfect starting hand. Come on, Pepper MD. Not Pepper MD. Uh, Admiral Navy Bean. You guys know what I'm talking about. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> if we top tangler for lunch, that would have been mad. It would be going crazy in here. I thought I only used the one bonus attack. Oh no, you're right, I did use both. Ah, you're right. I used both bonus attacks already. We need to run more lurch for lunch, guys. It's clearly the, the what we needed for this. 
What the heck is this guy doing? What on God's green earth is this man trying to accomplish with this? I think we're going to go Mustache Monument. Yeah. And then we can, like, still Acid Rain and stuff. Bruh. Bruh. A goink. So he gets one card. Congratulations. I really hope you're proud of yourself. Get nibbled. So we'll set this up again because we can we can kitchen sink here, which is pretty strong. Okay. Do I look like I care? He's going well. <laughs> He'll just keep bouncing us. <laughs> He'll run out of cards eventually. Um. To do it again? <laughs> to do it again? Go again! I don't care! Do I look like I care? <laughs> He's like, screw this lane, I'm going to the next lane. I don't know. It's probably worth it making that draw cards, right? We spent two for one, but he's not also he's also not getting the stonks. So. Uh just go with this. And then we can still rocket science, I guess. I'll kitchen sink eventually. Is the vampire gonna pull this up? See, I knew it was gonna jelly bean, so we had to like be able to rock it. What is he doing? Oh. <laughs> this mustache monument has been bounced more times than your mom's boobies. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Whee! So I think it's just vampire. Here. And then like this, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Something. Something like that. <laughs> We're just continuously getting bounced. What's in the box? Wow, he got lane 5. That's too bad. Choo-choo! Yeah, we need another lurch for lunch. I should probably run more lurch in this day. It's our win condition after all. Uh, that being parked in lane 3 isn't that good because of super. Didn't get it. Wow. Uh, okay, we're dying. <laughs> Extinction's kind of cool. So we have four, three for the kitchen sink and extinction event. Looks pretty good. He's moving lane five. <laughs> He's just feeding. Okay, that's fine. But I'll just extinction event it. But it says he think he's gonna fuck. What is this? What is this man doing? This is only eight damage, so we're completely safe here. What? I don't think he thought this through very well. Oh my gosh, he's just giving us so much frenzy, guys. He is feeding into a frenzied minion so hard here. This is guaranteed lethal, like like by a mile. Guys, I don't think you know what is about to go down right now. This is nuts. This itself is going to have seven attack just from killing one guy. So even if he block, please block this. Yes, thank you. I did it well in big and anyway. Guys, look at this freaking play. This is going to be the kitchen sink zombie to end all kitchen sink zombies. Tell me you've seen a better kitchen sink zombie than this. It's gonna hit here. It has six attack naturally. Hit that, it's gonna grow by four, four. Then it's gonna attack again. And it's gonna grow by another four, four. This is all bullseye. The big boy. The big 14 bullseye damage get wrecked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Let me cook! Let me cook! Yes! Yes!
<laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Highlight City. <sighs> and the kitchen sink. Where the expression comes from. Holy crap! Oh man. Got him. Well that went well. Oh I need I need a third to lurch for lunch in this deck. We're gonna we're gonna find the find room for it. Remind me after this game. I'm gonna forget for the rest of the stream watch. We keep this. <laughs> Easy. Uh I don't know if I go for this or the extinction here. I guess I'll go for this. It plays around the cyborg. No, it doesn't. Oh, it wasn't the size. No, worse, even walnut. Ow. I'm glad I have this rocket. Not gonna lie. Very glad indeed. I was sure I wasn't that one more frenzied man. <laughs> okay. Um, so if he crows this one more time, we'll rocket it. That would actually be ideal. If not, we'll extinction and rocket next turn. Kinda slow. Oh. Oh, shiz. Wow, we actually have this play, which is cool. Feels one of the Tricara decks. He still has so much ramp on the board, though. This is so scary. Even just with three cards in his hand. If one of them is big, we're kind of cooked here. <clears throat> See, I don't... playing the... Just playing this here is so bad. I mean, it could just Cobb Cannon. It's probably better just to pass and play it like Rocket, the big card that he plays here. So. Gosh. Uh, we're still alive. It's kind of just a matter of, like, does he have all these late game cards? He only has the three cards in hand now. Make it four. <sighs> Wish I could play a little combo here, but this is a little sad. Should I just, like, mime? It feeds so hard into Cobb Cannon. I mean, it's so bad. I'd love to teleport this in into a combo. We're basically gonna need that to win anyway, right? Alright, let's just go with... Let's just go with you. I hate this. You can really just even play another big minion that beats the 4-4, four -four, you know? The, the Bounty Hunter did not draw a card? Why? Bruh. Wait. Oh, it's gonna go lane three. Yeah, that's smart. Well, we already have Acid Rain, though. So we summoning, like, here, I guess? Oh, that's a high attack card. We'll draw. Empire might have some potential here. How about Vampire into either bonus attack or extinction of it? He's doing eight, so we're technically safe. I guess if he just hard passes, we'll extinction the flowers in one and two. If not, if he you know if he grows the triceratops, we'll have to bonus our way through there. That's what we're doing here. So he'll be doing eight. We have a little healing in our hand. It's gonna be good enough. Uh, this is a cool vampire, though. Very demure. So that we had four and two that turn. I just missed lethal. 
<laughs> so, like, I wonder if just going for the win here is correct. I mean, we have five and two. Like, what about just kitchen sink and why? I'd love the bonus attack here. I just think if he puts minions in one and two, we just lose on the spot. Is Kitchen Sink nibble the way? Alright, let's try it. The, the idea is that the Kitchen Sink, after hitting this, can like break through the second minion here. Okay. Um, Alright, so let's do some math. So this is going to have it has 6 attack, 3 plus 3 anti-hero. So it'll do 8... It'll do one, it has two overshoot. So this will have nine health, and then it's doing eight to bring it down to seven. Well, I guess we can always just do this. Wait, was that correct? Did I have to nibble this one? It's not enough, though. We do we, we did we get bow? We get bats. Okay. We live. <laughs> uh left deck mustache monitor, maybe? We do something here? So this does nine. We have a bonus attack for this turn, so I think we're we're okay here. I think we're 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 pretty gooch. I think we're pretty happy in the house here. Play this like here. So we can always get the bonus attack at least like in this line. I think we got this guy. Briar Rose. Uh, so we'll bonus attack here so the Briar Rose is dead and then we'll win in lane one. It's beautiful. We actually won that game. <laughs> this deck is winning a lot. Oh, what's going on here? Kitchen sink carrying? Let's go. That was a just getting back there with such a. I mean, it was a 50% chance, but <laughs> we needed a lot of things to go right, and they all did. <laughs> that was amazing. Okay, I'm adding up the third lurch for lunch. I should probably add like four of these in the deck. What do I take out? Has anything not been cooking? Just take out an extinction of it? I don't know. Have the ancient vampire has not been cooking enough? I think I'm gonna ditch like one of these for for an extra bonus attack. Well, we got away with that one. For <laughs> what's going on? Man relied on Briar Rose too hard. Uh, all right. Well, we cut one of the ancient vampires, then we get three, so that's fun. Uh, I, we need one more early game card here, right? Let's rock it. Let's see what the cheese can do. <laughs> I would have won anyway with the kitchen sink overshoot, so even if I didn't have that bonus attack, you're right. It was still way cool. I had a click fee, of course. True, true. True that is. Extinction event. Decent top deck here. <laughs> Doesn't do anything in the Triceratops, so though. I guess I'll hold it. Is the mime not been cooking? Yeah, you're right. Well, if I would have Extinction, then I could have done this into one and have the Vampire. Maybe he'll Holoflora and we'll rock it. That would be fun. Yeah, this isn't going great. I gotta, like, do something here. <sighs> we are getting cooked hard here. Is that even worth it? No. Just like this. What 
What's the most overused card in PvZ Heroes? Starch Lord. Easy. No! <laughs> Vitamin C. Jeez. Relax, bro. Yeah. Triceratops Black IP. Very good cards against Immortities. We do have Extinction Event Rocket here, so hopefully nothing bad happens. I don't know. Oh, no. Uh, I think we lose. We can block, guys. We we can block. Well, it's only six damage anyway. Shut up. <laughs> Opponent has twenty health. I don't think we're gonna win. It's just this feeling I got. Got a feeling. Tonight's gonna be a bad night. <laughs> it's science, guys. Uh, so maybe, like, the Acid Rain will reduce the 2-3 attack cards down to 2 and 2 and we won't lose. Maybe that'll happen. <laughs> Can you only have one card to play? <laughs> I tried! Maybe I should have gone for it. I don't know, nah. Alright, we'll just take the L. Stop making excuses. Woulda, coulda, shouldas. <clears throat> it's just I, I I'll admit you know what I mean like the I guess if you get cyborg you're pretty good against like you know the triceratops and the black eyed peas you really need cyborg to control that matchup we'll tack it up to not getting cyborg there now we feel good about ourselves that's is very cool against solar flare really messes up everything she plays the first two turns bruh we're gonna let that hit our face, because I don't care. It's one damage. We can always nibble it next turn. I'll take the block meter charge. I have a good feeling about this match. I think we're just gonna control this dude. <clears throat> nibble, nibble. Give me the block charge. <laughs> we're healing it anyway. I think we're gonna get some mime combos here. There's no, like, Brainana we have to worry about. Or anything. I guess all extinction. We have to. Because the banana bomb kills and we'll need to extinction it next turn anyway, so. We'll keep our bats on the board. That's nice. Cool. I think we can spend a teleport for the, uh... Teleport cheese, maybe? Maybe just this? Alright, just this. The berry blast is still 2-4. <laughs> that one? What? Why not this one? Oh. Decent? And we get a card. And we preserved our teleports. <gasps> Mustache Monument is exactly what I wanted to see. We'll see if we can get a Frenzied minion now. So, I think it's gonna be Dry Mime. We have, like, a full block meter and all that. Pretty sure Dry Mime is a teleport mime, and then we'll have some things to Mustache Monument after that. So, the player doesn't run a ton, especially Berry Dex. They're not gonna have a ton of ways to deal 7 damage. Like, I mean... Incoming Pine Club? Nope. OTK Helicopter with Area 22 Moonwalker. Area Moonwalker is reliable, yeah. That's, it's like the Immortitia deck with, uh... Sorry, not Immort... It can be any science here. Oh, yeah, it's be Area 22, so it's Immortitia. Yeah. That's cool. Usually Area 22 you want to play on top of a minion, though. That's already there, so it gets immediate value. So we teleport Mime into just nonsense next turn? I think I'm not going to regret the teleport Mime here. Can we get a Frenzy minion? Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Oh baby. Oh, bye, 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 bye. How was I supposed to know? 
something more than <laughs> what, one more mime just for good luck so right now this is four five and five this is so much damage I, I can't like not well I guess if I do three one we can go four five we can we can bonus it all right I'll do it with the cheese cutter instead so we can still lurch for lunch this turn all right attack <laughs> we did it with cheese cutter go mimes go <laughs> we'll just do it again next turn that's fine we we got fruitcake we can kill the the allosaurus this is amazing uh it was funny though oh he's healing it's called getting ready for impact, boys! Alright, we gotta fruitcake this. Oh no, reincarnation! What am I gonna do about that? I'll tell you what. Bonus! It's called bonusattack.com! So here's five. <laughs> here's another five. Go! Jeez, God, I'm so guaranteed lethal, man! There ain't nothing! Uh, more spore in three and four. Please get it. <laughs> no, he doesn't have it. <laughs> See you later! Wow, that was amazing! <laughs> Alright, that's a highlight intro now. Wow. Get wrecked! Alright guys, we're in a 5 and 2 scenario. Here's the game that determines the bets. Hopefully not Grass Knuckles. Tiny Gargantuar! I think this is the YouTuber. Um, there we go. Should I be scared of casting a busable enough to mulligan this? I think so. Uh, Alright. I will respect the tiny gargantua. <laughs> Did I roll a bunch of ones? I didn't realize. Oh baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? That something wasn't right. Now what? Pass. Awesome. Oh yeah, I didn't update the deck list, my bad. Did I take a screenshot? No, I forgot. <clears throat> it's one fear of Empire, one extra bonus. Too. You guys know the drop. Dude. Ow. He's gonna get some cheese here. I've let you go. Yeah, this is a problem. How do we deal with this? <laughs> we can't really deal with like low attack, high health with Immortisha. And he knows it. We can't really play this. I mean, we can play this just here, and he can single attack. Yeah. Maybe I should have started nibbling that, just so I could play the Bounty Hunter. I probably should have nibbled that last turn, right? <laughs> okay, it's a banana deck. That's what's up. This is pretty good for us because he only gains one banana. We get a card. I think that that slowed the game down enough. So that's that's okay. We'll take two damage. <laughs> Could use some like mustache monuments, I think. So teleport. So teleport. Cyborg extinction looks pretty good. Then he uses a banana bomb on it next turn, then we teleport the Mime Guardian, which I think is good. 
we got away with murder there. This is so annoying. Some box. I hate this. This black IP is so annoying. Uh, block the four damage. Damn it, that's a big deal. So I'm gonna do the. Well, it just gets banana bombed, but I guess that's kind of okay. I don't know why Immortitia super glitches out these days. It then used to be like that, and for some reason nowadays that's how it goes. There's so many bonus attacks. Like, I could teleport Mime into... I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing here. I don't have the path to victory. Banana, be split, and then banana, banana. I'm really not feeling this game right now. Maybe I should have waited on the bats and then done the here, I don't know. So we teleport, we have to teleport something. Like we could play this here, it's still gonna be lethal. I don't know what I'm doing here. I know Linus. We need to do some crazy thing with bonus attacks, but this black IP is just killing me. Like, I guess if we have the mime be here, and then this is here, and we can always nibble, you know, the 2-2, two -two, this can always get nibbled, so the, we have to block the 7. And now we have the mime guard set up, so we can theoretically do something with the bonuses next turn. That would be awesome. There's another banana bomb. It's just a banana deck. Essentially. Like a plant food right now, I think would just kill us. Oh. So, block summoning. Or evaporate. Evaporate would be pretty clutch here. Yes. Okay. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, the mustache mine, okay. So now what? Oh. So like... This here... <laughs> three bonus attacks. We have extinction event, which is a lot. I don't think we cyborg yet. I think we'll cyborg like next turn on top of the mustache monument. This extinction event will probably like keep us alive here. No, Brinana! No! Oh my gosh! The thickest Brinana of all time! No! <laughs> GG. <laughs> Ah, man. I felt I felt the comeback there. GG. All right. The answer is no, but this was uh, one of the most fun <laughs> streams we've had all year. The amount of combos we had today was amazing. <laughs> I love how every game we were just edging, like, losing and then, like, huge comeback on the horizon. Sometimes it did happen, and sometimes it almost happens. Damn, Brainana just wiped us. Oh, we could have dealt with a lot of things there. Brainana was just not one of them. Anyway, guys, that was the Mime Frenzy. This is a very fun deck. With mixed results. But uh, it's definitely going on YouTube. Are you kidding me, guys? Are you freaking kidding me? I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. This is Fry.